What is up everybody welcome back to another video today i'm going to be showing you how to create some embroidery patches for your digital garments using substance painter and substance sampler so the first thing you want to do is have your garment ready in substance painter for your detailing and then what you want to do is open up photoshop or any editing software where you can create an alpha layer in photoshop you're going to take your logo this is the logo i'm going to be working with you can decide the shape of your patch mine's going to be rectangular i'm going to drag and drop this straight into photoshop and here we have our logo so the first thing you want to do is create a rectangle i'm going to make it about this big you can decide however big you want it and then we're going to make it white and then you can if you want you can adjust the edges to your preferred shape and then you can just drop this right below that i'm going to press shift and just drag this up a little bit to scale it this is going to be one of the textures we're going to be working with so we can hide the top layer and export this export as just label this white and then I'm also going to do an export with the logo to replace the original logo that we have. And one thing to note is it must be in a one by one ratio or else your scaling will get affected in sampler. So once that is done, we're going to go into Substance 3D Sampler. And first thing we want to do is add a layer. Then we're going to type embroidery. Click on that and it will start to bring up an embroidery tab. Now for this, this is going to be our base layer. We're only going to use one color, so let's change it to one color. And this is going to be our full layer. And we need to apply an image. So let's click on this image and hit select. We can go to that white backdrop that we exported and hit that. Just like that, you can see now we have some patching going on here. Now you can see the basic shape of the patch, but however, it's tiling a lot. So we're gonna go down to the bottom here and just change this texture tiling to one, and then we have a better shape. Now I do always recommend that when you create the shape that there is some edges on the export just to give some space for the embroidery. Um, so as you can see here, we have a little bit of space and it's not overlapping too much. So now that we have set that up, we're gonna go to our color and here we can select the design of the embroidery. So we have satin, twill and split. I'm going to go with satin and I'm going to bring this heart down a little bit and then you can change all the other settings as you wish. I'm just going to change mine up a little bit and then in custom color we're going to we're going to apply a custom color by toggling this and then go down to color and let's just make this yellow. Okay so this is going to be our base layer. We're now going to do the same thing. Add layer, go to embroidery and we're going to import that exact white backdrop set our color to one and then for our design we're going to change this to outline so now you can see we do have an outline around our patch and we are going to go down to our stitch finish change the custom color to more of a brown and now you can see that it's not really sticking out as nicely so for this we can adjust the length and the thickness and then we're going to go back to our first one go to color one and adjust the height so it just drops in a bit and then we can also go to advanced and just tweak the height range and the height position and then it sticks out a lot better i'm going to go back to our top layer which is our outline and just make this a little bit smaller like that now you can see it's not overlapping on the edge which is ideally what you want can also change the density if you wish. I'm going to go back to our fill layer and change the density of that. Okay, that looks pretty good. So from here, we're now going to add our detailing, which is going to be our logo. So let's go add layer and do embroidery. Then we can go to image, select. We're going to select our logo. And as you can see, it is not really detailed. So for color, we only have three colors. We're going to select three. And then density, we can just increase this so we can get some more detailing. And we're going to set this to fill. And just tweak it until you're happy with the results. And then for length, we can decrease this a tad bit. And thickness, keep it as is. And we're going to keep everything else as is. And we're going to go back to our border layer, which is our second layer. And I'm going to make it actually black. And the length, I'm just going to bring it down a little bit so it's not touching the sides. And then displacement. You can set your height scale to 0 0.01 and it'll start looking a lot better. So once you have done all of that, you're pretty much good to go. And make sure that you do save this. So I'm just going to file save as. Hit save. And then to export this to Substance Painter, we can go to the right here, hit export and say send to Substance Painter. Once that's done, we can open up Sunsumpeta and if we check on the bottom left here we can see we have a new material added 
And if you wish to change the name of the material, you can go up to your metadata here and adjust it as you wish. Um, so we're just gonna go back to our substance painter and using this new texture we've created, I'm gonna add paint layer. We're gonna double click on this and you can see that it's using it as a brush now. Now if we press here, you can see it's got some fading on the side, which isn't what we want. So I'm just gonna press Control Z and then let's remove the spacing and make our alignment UV hardness we're going to increase it then for our alpha what we can do is just drag and drop this straight into our alpha and it will update and now if we scale this up a little bit when we press it it's hard and looking a lot better now to ensure that there's no holes in it we are going to go to our material and just scroll all the way down to the bottom and remove opacity and then when we press it you can see it now looks much better i'm going to place this on the pocket so I'm going to go into my 2D window and place it just there. I'm going to scale it up a little bit more. And then what we can do now is right click and say add level and change the effector channel to height. And then we're going to just bring these two really close together just to get rid of that contrast. We then want to go to our layer properties, change it to height. And from, from linear dodge, we want to change it to normal and then it will stick out a lot better. And then for exporting, we're gonna go file, export textures, choose your output folder. So mine's gonna be onto my desktop. Let's select, we're gonna make sure that we have selected PBR metallic roughness and that our normal OpenGL is set to our normals and hit RGB channels. Then we can go back to settings and hit export. And just like that, this is our final result once we've linked it with our textures in blender if you don't know how to do that make sure to check my full three-part series if this video did help you out please make sure to drop a like comment and sub if you're new here and don't forget to join my discord if you need any help as per always i really appreciate the support make sure to check out my shopify store for any digital products that you may need for your marketing purposes um, and i will see you in the next one peace